Hey guys, this is Red Silvers, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 3 Talking Time. And today, for once, we don't have a tie, we don't have a random vote, or anything like that, because only one Robot Master got votes, and that's Gemini Man. Gemini Man is actually, kind of stands out to me as one of my favorites from Mega Man 3. And the reason for that is really simple and really dumb. It's because I'm a Gemini. And so, there was just a little bit of a kindred thing there that meant absolutely nothing, but I was going to latch on to it as a little kid because why not? Plus he has this really cool stage that's very segmented. It has two flavors to it. The first being this outdoor, crystalline star field. Which has the penguins, and I'm not sure what penguins have to do with a Gemini, but hey. Uh, the eyeball robots that drop the flames. And there's an interesting distinction about them that I will point out later. Not in this video, but you'll know it when you see it. We come to this screen and Protoman's here. You can actually slide and bypass him, but I'm not going to do that, and I'll show you why. But Mega Man does not even have the dignity to look at Protoman as he comes in and opens a path for us. We're going to hug this wall and fail horribly. So what the hey, we'll get the big health drop. And this will be a nice chance actually to show off our RJ, the rush jet that I mentioned is broken in Mega Man 3. But I wanted to get that life because coming off of the Needleman fight, I only have the one life left, so getting a backup is going to be very useful. And these tadpoles are interesting because they never seem to drop anything cool when you want them to. Whenever there's one that you can't reach, then that's when they're going to start dropping awesome stuff. And it sure would be nice to get another life, but that's not going to happen. And I've always been really fond of this uh, level format with the blinking, flashing coral, I guess? And here's a little neat thing you can do, is that you cannot get on this ladder because you can't finish sliding in the small amount of space. I don't know of any other places where that happens, but that's a little fun distinction. Here we'll want to use the rush coil and get up. And that was crazy tricky platforming, wasn't it? Um, what's been interesting is that how quickly the votes for this just took the lead because th there was no way anything was going to top Gemini Man's lead. A single, unanimous lead. And these penguin robots. Again, with the penguins that I don't know what have they have to do with the theme. But they do kind of fit in with the level, considering you have this uh, coral stuff, and there's even an underwater section coming up, so I guess that was brilliant. So I guess there is kind of a, a theme to it. And they actually do make good use of Rush in this level, as you've seen, there's been a few places where Rush Coil is paid off. Uh, this water section is probably designed to be there. Let's justify the Rush Marine section. But I don't have the Rush Marine. And even if I did, it wouldn't be worth this hassle. That's right, I want to switch to the top spin here. Because it's got the return of the mosquitoes from the Needleman stage. 
And we'll go still go ahead and give our rush coil some more energy. Not that we're going to need it, but I think there's just a OCD thing there. And these, you'd think, just because they can die to one hit to the top spin, that they're really easy to hit, but sometimes their their pattern is hard to hit. Now with that, we actually are back to our full complement of nine E-Tanks. And this is pretty much the only stage that gives them out like candy like this. So, just because I'm full now doesn't mean that I'm going to cruise through the rest of the Robot Master stages and still have a full complement. And I know that that's what people are voting for. They're trying to give me uh, challenges. And that's why I haven't fought any of the robots that I have a weakness for. And Gemini Man's just another one of those cases. So we did get two lives. We got two energy tanks. The stage does give you plenty of tools. And Gemini Man's pattern is very simple in practice. As you can see, if you don't attack him, he just does this Dancing Gemini Man Dance of Death. And it's not perfectly timed, but you could just kind of sit here. I think one of them moves faster than the other, I don't know. But once you shoot, they react. Whichever one of them is on the floor is going to shoot at you, and the one that's in the air will stop. And it's a lot harder to time just knowing that pattern. It's still kind of tricky. And then what's interesting is when you get him halfway down. Because at that point, his pattern will change as well. If you have the search snake, then you can use that against him. I'm actually going to try... That's not working out. So much for having the E-Tanks. And once you uh, get rid of the first clone, the second one will just kind of walk back and forth, occasionally firing his Gemini laser. But he can only have one on the screen, which is the distinction you have. And then he will jump when you shoot. So, keeping in mind where his Gemini laser is on the screen, he's going to fire one now. Ooh. And just like your Gemini laser, this causes a ton of slowdown. But he's certainly a lot easier once you get down the first clone. And yes, I did have to use one E-Tank there, but I still come out ahead because I... It was only... I was down two at the beginning of this. The Gemini laser is a pretty cool weapon that will bounce around, like the one that he fired. But it does cause some massive slowdown. But it also counts as three shots against a lot of enemies. And so with that said, there's our password. We'll go into this with one life, so we're also ahead on lives as opposed to last time. And with that, we're halfway through the Robot Master stages. And we've just about got a fairly good arsenal at this point. But only four Robot Masters remain, so which one will be our target next time? I don't know, so you'll have to tell me. Until then, this is Red Silvers, and have yourself a nice night.